Well, I'm in Pacific Lab. This is the 23rd edition of 10 Life Hacks with PVC. Let's begin. Have you ever been trying to put anything on your shelf and you're reaching back and, oh, I hope that didn't break. I have a great way to prevent that. If you take a piece of half inch or larger PVC pipe and you measure the depth of your shelf here and then you cut your pipe so that it rests just behind the frame, now there is much less likely chance of you accidentally knocking something off the shelf. Next up is this awesome coat stand. It's actually three pieces of half inch PVC and I took the PVC and I cut them to about six feet long and then I used my heat gun to carefully bend each of these corners to about the angle that I want and then I used some zip ties to hold them together and then I took some PVC cement, the clear kind, and went in along here in all the cracks so that way it will be nice and sturdy. This makes a great little stand for my jacket and even my hat. It also makes a great stand for my lights and I'm trying to do some close up photography. This holds my light very well, makes it easy to move around. Here's a great little display you can put on a shelf or you can help show your kids how center of gravity works. I have just a basic water bottle and this is a piece of one and a quarter inch PVC. It's roughly about 14 and a half inches long. At the bottom down here, I have an angle of about 22 and a half degrees, or it's basically half of a 45 degree angle. Coming up from that end, go about 10 and a quarter, 10 and a half inches. I drilled a hole big enough so that I can insert the bottle. Now if you insert it right on the edge there, you can set this up and it'll stay nice and balanced. And if you do it just right, you should be able to move it around just a little bit and it'll stay balanced. Next up is an awesome flag holder that you can attach to the tree. I've taken a piece of one and a half inch PVC pipe and I've flattened about a third of it on one side. I drilled a couple holes and if also you might notice that it has a slight slant to it so that it can fit around the tree. You can take this, you can use some nails, you can use some screws, whatever you like. You can attach it through the pipe and that way it'll fit nicely on the side of a tree. I'd suggest doing it at about a 45 degree angle and that way if water happens to go in, it'll flow out the bottom. Also that'll help keep the flag up in the air and nice and display and less likely for it to fall out. If by chance it does fall out, you can always screw a hole through the middle of it into the flag and hold it secure. Here I've created a cool little drink holder. Now I'm using some four inch sewer and drainage pipe. It's the thin version. I carefully cut out a section out of the top and bottom and I've used my heat gun to carefully heat it up and fold it the bottom in so that it'll hold your drink. At the very top I have created a little hook. Great thing about this hook, it'll fit on your fence, it'll fit on your lawnmower, just about anything else that you can hang it on. And you don't have to worry about misplacing that drink while you're working, you can take it with you. If you're an avid golfer, then you can easily create a nice little putting hole right in your yard. This is a piece of four inch sewer and drainage pipe. It's the thin stuff so that you can easily go over and you might have to dig a hole but I found out if you find a nice soft spot in your yard you can start pushing it down with your hand maybe even have to step on it but it can turn out into a nice little putting hole that you can practice with. If you like to go fishing here's a great little tool you can make for your fishing rod. Now this is a great little fishing rod holder you can attach it to the side of your boat or maybe even a 2x4. I started off with some 3 inch PVC pipe. I drilled a couple holes in it just slightly offset from the center. Just making sure that the fishing pole fit in there well. And then I cut off just the top section. The, the back hole it needs to be fully enclosed. The front hole though needs to be open at the top end. You can even file down the sides a little bit to make it a little more smooth if you prefer. One of the great benefits of using this holder is when you start to see it move you can quickly snatch the pole up and it doesn't get entangled in anything else. It keeps the rod roughly at a 45 degree angle and that way it'll be nice and high. You don't have to worry about a fish pulling it in. This is a great little holder that you can use out when you're fishing. This next item is a great little boat oar that you can make using some pipe. I did this in a previous video, in my rafting video, but it was such a great project I had to show you again. Now it's very simple. I used some half inch PVC and I used a heat gun to heat everything up after I made some nice dimensions 
And then I used some nice hardy tape. Now, I do suggest when you put the tape on to start at the top and work your way down. Otherwise, the tape will start to hold water. If you start at the top and work your way down though, it's always going to have open spots at the bottom. Therefore, if water does happen to get inside your ore, it can carefully come out. We used this on the lake for a couple hours. It did great. I'm happy to take this back out again here soon. If you've ever done much work on a ladder, you know, having your tools with you, well, that is just important so you don't have to go up and down, up and down. And a lot of ladders still have these holes cut into the top of them. Maybe you take a screwdriver or a hammer. That is, unless your tool is just a little bit too big. Then you're kind of stuck. Well, that is unless you take a piece of one and a half inch PVC or larger, depending on your needs. And you can take your hammer, drop it in. That way you can have it always with you. I just attached it here with some simple zip ties. You can use some string or whatever you have. And that way you can easily carry that hammer with you on the ladder. If you've ever tried to ride a bicycle holding bags, it can be a little challenging, especially if you put it on the steering wheel. The extra weight can make it a little bit harder to steer. Also, it can, it just, if the wind catches it just right, it's gonna try and move your steering, and it's just a little challenging. Now, here's a great way using some PVC that you can make it much easier. Now, I'm using some three-quarter inch PVC. That's about one and a half to two feet long. It just depends on your preference. On the ends, I used a T-fitting, and then I use another 90 degree fitting. And by doing this, it creates a little bag holder, a little catch, so that the bag doesn't slide back and forth. Now I've attached this to the back of the bicycle, just below the seat. A lot of bicycles, they have a little triangle shape right there, and that way this can fit in there nice and tight. Make sure that you get it nice and secure so that it doesn't twist, and you can hold your bag securely whenever you need to ride your bike. 